Welcome to the ET420 Lab 2 Simple Blockly Prop Circuits for Propeller Boards Part D. Okay, let's build the circuit with the potentiometer as shown here. And if you don't have the parallax one, the potentiometer, the middle one will be the middle wire and on the wired pot and the other two ends will be just as shown so and one of those ends will be free okay we're going to make an rc decay circuit r for resistor c for capacitor and we have our resistor which is our potentiometer and the capacitor so let's go into control and we're going to repeat and we need to get some Two pauses and we're going to need to let's go down to communication and we need to clear our screen and we're going to print a number Okay, we got our pause. No, R, okay, we need RC time pin. So let's go back to pin states. Okay, we're going to come back. And alrighty, we need pin states. Oops. So we have. Pin state, so we're going to need make pin high. Okay, so let's go ahead and build it what we have here. So we've got uh, make pin 7, and we're going to put our pause there. And we're going to make this a simple one. And we're going to uh, clear our terminal. We're going to have to slide something in there. That's fine. Terminal print. And we're not going to put another delay. And this is going to be 200. Okay. And we need to make a uh, knob for our variables. Okay, and so let's drag this down here. We're going to use that, and we're going to use that. So print number, we're going to get rid of that. Slide in knob. Um, boom, 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 boom. That's decimal. Are we going to let's check and see if we're going to use a new line? No, we are not. Okay. So let's slide our knob in between these two. Pause. Yep. Alrighty, let me come back. Okay, I'd go out and search for our last one here, but it's going to be under analog pulses, RC time, and we're going to go ahead and put that in our, our knob, and we're going to check pin 7, and we're going to do discharge. And that looks good, I think. We're going to skip the light sensor unless you received one in your kit. Uh, we were short of them, so we're going to skip this part of the lab. Okay, the last part of the lab is we're going to build a seven segment display. And this is a common cathode uh, seven segment LED. Uh, LED. And we need to make sure that the pins are top and bottom. If you have the ones on the side, that's the incorrect one. And it's called a common cathode because all of our cathodes are tied together and they're going to go to ground. And we need to provide positive through a resistor, in this case, one case, in order for the LEDs to light. 
Here's a display of a picture of our board the way it should look with uh, the seven segment LED and the proper resistors. Okay, let's test our LEDs. So we're going to go down here to pin states. We'll go all the way to the bottom and we're going to duplicate that. And let's double check what we got here. So we're going to set the directions. And bottom states to the highest pin, 13, and this will go from 6. It's opposite of what they have in the manual, but that's okay. So we're going for the highest pin, 13, to the lowest pin, 6, using bits. We're going to use seven seven bits actually eight bits let's see is that we got eight yes we do okay and our bottom one will be states from the lowest pin 6 to the highest pin I'm assuming 13 using binary set the directions and state so this is going to set everything to outputs and this will turn the LEDs on a 1 because it's looking for a positive will turn the LED on Good, that's it.